welcome to the second episode of Cook and Shake. This episode is all about the inspirations of India, where we're going to be making some fantastic cocktails using Johnny Walker Black Label, which I have here. And we've also got Dipna, who's going to be showing us how to make uh, some fantastic tandoori chicken wings um, and have the, how the two can marinate together. Now, in terms of cocktails, what are we going to be making? Uh, we're going to be making a twist on a classic highball, uh, but using flavours from both East and West. Now, to make this cocktail, you're going to be needing some Johnny Walker. We've also got some blackberries, so this is more of the kind of the Western flavours. Then we're going to add a little bit of East, so we're going to go for some Jal Jira Masala, which you can pick up at your kind of local um, Indian stores. Um, and this is going to bring in the kind of spice and the savoury elements to our cocktail. We've also got some vanilla syrup. And then I've got one of the, my favourite kind of mixes, uh, which is unusual to the kind of the British uh, world, but very famous in, in India. Uh, this is called Limka, which is like a like a lemon or lime soda. So a little bit different to like say Sprite, but this is more like a lemon Fanta. Now we've got all these ingredients, let's make that cocktail. Jira Blackberry Highball, um, absolutely fantastic, best thing to have with tandoori chicken wings. Um, so yeah, cheers guys. Oh, it's fantastic. So now it's over to Dipna and she's gonna show you how to make these tandoori chicken wings. You guys enjoy. Okay, I also need some ginger and garlic paste. So this is fresh ginger, fresh garlic in equal amounts made into a paste with the help of some water in a little uh, grinder or little blender. And that goes in as well. I then need my yogurt. And yogurt, of course, is great for your tandoori chicken wing recipe. Also acts as a tenderizer in most tandoori recipes. Um, as well. Okay, now a secret ingredient is smoked paprika because that's what's going to give the tandoori like taste at home. Of course, I can appreciate not everyone has a tandoor oven at home, so smoked paprika in. Also helps with a nice colour and some red chilli powder. So, all this nice hotness, these are going to be nice and spicy. I also have some cumin powder. So that's going to go into my bowl as well. I have some salt for seasoning. That's going to go into. Now, special garam masala. My brilliant 15 spice garam masala is essential. So we're going to go in with some garam masala. And lastly, we need some kasturi methi or kasuri methi. This is dried fenugreek. Put that into the palm of your hands. As you can see, I'm being generous with that. And what I'm doing is just crushing it as I'm putting it in, turning it into somewhat of a powder. 
And that is the simple marination for tandoori wings. Now we gotta mix. So let's get mixing, mix that all together. And the oil is really gonna help combine all those ingredients in my marinade well together. And can you see the color is already so nice and bright, proper tandoori. And this is the bit where you get your spoon. I always get the end. Perfect, it's just missing one last ingredient. So to make it even more brilliant, I need half a lemon, freshly squeezed like this. Oh, using all my muscles there, there you, go, there you go. Alrighty, one more mix. And that should now be perfect. The seasoning was absolutely fine, right. Now, all I need to do is get my hands dirty. See, here you go, the wings are going right in. Realistically, if you can leave this to marinate overnight, then great, even better, because you get all that flavor really absorbing into the wings. If not, then two hours marinating time should be sufficient. And if you're sometimes a little bit naughty like me, then 30 minutes is fine as well. So if you want to break the rules, you can. These are gonna be delicious, brilliant in fact. So my tandoori chicken wings are ready to be left to marinate in the refrigerator for about two hours and they look like this. So after marinating, these are all ready for my preheated oven, 180 for 20 to 25 minutes. I'll share the result with you. Tandoori chicken wings, all done. And how juicy and moist and delicious do they look guys i hope you have enjoyed that recipe i'll be back soon stay safe and be happy bye